result of applying the guiding principle progress in alternatively with feedback. The ability, the ability to discover and respond to failure earlier. Progress is iterated with feedback, working, working in a time box, iterative manner and with feedback loops embedded into the process allows for greater flexibility, faster response to customer and business need. The ability to discover and respond to failure earlier, and over improvement in quality. Which is now focused on the information technology dimension, rules and responsibilities. The rules and, re and people dimension of service covers rules and responsibilities of former or organizational structures, culture, and requiring staff and the competencies, all of which are related to the creation, delivery, improvement of service. Which guiding principle says that service and process should not provide a solution for every exception. Keep it simple and practical. In keep it simple and practical guiding principle, trying to tr provide a solution for every exception will often lead to over complication. When creating a process or a service, designers need to think about exceptions, but they, are, they cannot cover them all. Instead, rules should be designed that can be used to handle exceptions generally. Which value chain activity ensures that service components are available when and where they are needed and meet agreed specification, obtain and build? The obtain and build chain activity ensures that service components are available when, when and where they are needed and meet agreed specifications. Fifth, what term best describe a service that uh, is fit for use? Warranty. Obtain and build chain activity ensures that service components are available when and where they are needed and meet agreed specifications. Identify a missing word in the following sentence. A customer in a person who defines the requirement for a service and takes the responsibility for the outcomes outcomes of the co service consumption customer a person who defines the requirement for customer outcomes customer a person who defines the requirement for a service takes responsibility for the outcomes of a service consumption which is considered by the partners and supplier dimension working with the integrator to manage relationships Service integrator who manages the relationship with all suppliers and integrators their services on b behalf of the organization. Which of the following is not activity within the service value chain? Practices. Practice is not an activity in the service value chain. The six activities within the service value chain are plan, improve, engage, design, and transition, obtain, and build and deliver and support. How do all value chain activities transform input to output? By using combinations of practices. By implementing implementing process automation. The convert input to input into outputs. The value chain activities use different combination of practices. Practices. Why the step after how do we keep the momentum going in the continual improvement model? What is the vision? Once you reach how do we keep the momentum going in the continual improvement model, you restart the process with what is the vision. 
what can be described as an operating model for the creation and the management of the product and services. Service value chain. The service value chain is a central element of the SBS. It outlines the key activities required to respond to man demanded demanded and facilitate value realization through the creation and management of products and services. What is the starting point for optimization? Understanding the vision and objectives of the organization. The first step of the, of the principle, optimize and automate, is understanding and agreed on the context in which the proposed optimization, optimization exists. This includes agreeing to the overall vision and objectives of the organization, which is a key activity carries out in the did we get their step of the continual improvement model. Evaluate measurement and metrics. Correct answer is evaluate measurement and metrics, which is external input to a service value chain, customer requirement. The input for service value chain activities are demand from outside the value chain or outputs or of the of other activities. Demand is often explained through customer requirement. Feedback loops. Customer requirement. Which service external external input to service value chain? A service provider describes a package that includes a laptop with a service, software, licenses, and support. What did this package, package on example of service offering? A service offering a description of one or more services designed to address the need, to, need of a target consumer group, which may include goods, access to resources, and the service directions which is a risk that might be removed from the service consumer by the IDC service. Failure of the service hard server hardware, risk removed from the consumer by the service, part of the value proposition. These may include the failure of the consumer's server hardware or lack of step availability. Which service management dimension is focused on activities and how these are coordinated? Value stream and processes. The value stream and processes dimension focuses on what activities organization undertakes and how they are organized, as well as how the organization ensures that it is enabling value creation for all stakeholders efficiently and effectively. Which are elements of the service value system? Governance, service value chain, practices. Elements of the service value systems are service value chain, guiding principles, guide governance, continual improvement, practices. Which concept describe governance? The service value system. The component of the service value system are guiding principles, guide governance, service value chain, practices, and the continual improvement. Which does the service value, chain, value system discourage? Organization silos. Organization silos describe the isolation that occurs when employees or entire, entire department within the organization do not want to or do not have to educate, educate means to share information, knowledge with each other. Organization silos can be resistance, resistant to change and can prevent easy access to the information and the specialized expertise that exists across the organization, which can in turn reduce the efficiency and increase both cost and risk. Silo also make it more difficult for communication or collaboration to occur across the different groups. Which dimension of service management consider the workflow and controls needed to deliver service, value streams and processes, partner surprise. Value stream and process dimension defines the activities, workflows, controls, and the procedures needed to achieve agreed objectives. Which joint activity performed by service provider and service consumer ensures continual value creation. Service relationship management. 
Service relationship management is joint activity performed by the service provider and the service consumer to ensure continual value co-creation based on agreed and available service offerings. Which term describe the function offered by a service utility? The utility utility is function offered by a product or service. Which guiding principle is recommend assessing the current state and deciding what can be used? Start where you are. The guiding principle start where you are advises that having a proper understanding of the current state of service and method is important in selecting which element to use, reuse, alter, or build upon. Which dimension of a service management should be considered when deciding whether or not moving the organization's web server from the on-premise on solutions to cloud is a good decision in terms of compliance and security, information and technology. The information and technology dimension focuses on the information and knowledge necessary for the management of service, as well as technology is required. Since this is an information security is compliance cons consideration, this would fall under the information technology dimension, which describes the nature, nature of guiding principles. A guiding principle is a recommend recommendation used uh, as guidance in all circumstances. A guiding principle is defined as a recommendation that can guide an organization in or circumstances and will guide organization when adopting service management. They are not described as this pre prescribed, prescriptive or mandatory. Which value chain activity include presenting a work around to users via, via, via a service portal? Engage. Engage focus on problems that have significant impact on service that will be visible to customers and users. In some cases, the customer may wish to be involved in problem prioritization and the status and the plans for managing problems should be communicated. Workaround are often presented to users via service portal. The purpose of the engaged value chain activity is to provide continual engagement with all stakeholders. What is means of enabling value co-creation by facilitating outcomes that comes customers want to achieve? Service. A service is um, a means of enabling value co-creation by facilitating outcomes that customers want to achieve without the customer having to manage specific cost and risk. What is described by the service value system? How all components and the activities of the organization work together as a system to enable value creation. The SBS describes how all the components and activities of the organization work together as a system to enable value creation. What is output? Something created by the carried, carrying out an activity. A change state that has a significant for a measurement of a configure, configuration item. An output is tangible or intangible deliverable of an activity. Which guiding principle is most effective the, by customer experience? CX. Think and work holistically. No. Focus on value. The customer experience is an important element of value. The customer experience must be actively managed. The service provider must know how service consumers use each service and understand the entirety of the interaction that a customer has with an organization and each product to fully understand the customer experience. This is mainly identified and explored through a focus on value. Identify the missing word in the following sentence. When the organization has decided to improve the service, it should Sure, start by considering existing information. New method. Wrong. In start where you are, a guiding principle. Don't start from the scratch and build something new without considering what is already available to be leveraging existing service, process, programs, project, people, and information. 
which dimension of service management considers governance, management, and communication, organization, and people. It is important to ensure that waste on organization is structured and managed, as well as its rules, responsibilities, and the systems of authority and communication is well defined and support its overall strategy and operating models. Which value chain activities create a server service component? Obtain and build. The purpose of obtain and build value chain activity is to ensure that service components are available when and where they are needed and meet agreed specifications. Service component for delivery and support and service component for design and transition are key outputs of obtain and build value chain activity. Which, is, which guiding principle is primarily concerned with end-to-end -end service delivery? Think and work holistically. Focus on value. No. Think and work holistically. Guiding principle stage. Services are delivered to internal and external service consumer. consumers through the coordination and integration of the four dimension of the service management. Taking a holistic approach to service management include, includes establishing an understanding of how all the parts of the organization work together in an integrated way. It requires end-to-end -end visibility of how demand is captured and translated into outcomes. What are the two types of cost that a service consumer should evaluate? The cost removed by the service and the cost imposed by the service. From the service consumer's perspective, there are two types of costs involved in service relationships. Cost removed from the service consumer by service. Cost imposed on the consumer by the service. What is the first step of the guiding principle focus on value? Determine who, who the service consumer is in each situation. The first step is focusing on value, know, knowing how being served. In each situation, the service provider must, therefore, determine who the service consumer is. Consideration for applying the principle, who is the consu service consumer? The consumer's perspective of value, why the consumers need the service, how service help them to achieve their goals, cost, risk. The customer experience. Customer experience CX can be defined as an ent entirety of the interactions a customer has been an or has with an organization and its product. This experience can determine how the customer feels about organization and its product and service. Which guiding principle? recommends organization work into smaller, manageable solutions that can be executed and completed in a timely manner. Progress iterative with feedback. The description of progressive iterative feedback says by organization work into smaller, manageable sections that can be executed and completed in a timely manner. The focus on each smaller effort will be sharper and easier to maintain. Your company has decided to implement a new management style that will significantly flatten the management hierarchy within the company. Which dimension of service management is most applicable to this change? Organization and people. The organization and people dimension of the service covers rules and responsibilities, former organizational structures, culture, and requiring staff and competencies, all of which are related to the creation, delivery, and improvement of the service. Which role approves the cost of the service? Sponsor. Sponsor, a person who authorizes budget for service consumption. Sponsor, review the proposed service ar arrangement and the proposed to cost of the contract is negotiate, as negotiated. Which is one of the main concerns of the design and transition value chain activities? Meeting stakeholders' expectations. Meeting stakeholders' expectations, design and transition, understanding the organization's vision, plan, understanding stakeholders' needs, engage, ensuring service components are available, obtain and build. What what must what must always be what must always be done before activity is automated? Check the activity has already been optimized. 
before the activity is effectively automated. It is be optimized whatever whatever degree is possible or and reasonable. The starting point of optimization is understanding the vision and objectives of the organization. Which of the which of these are key focus on the value stream value stream and the process dimension? Activities uh, that transform into inputs into outputs. The value streams and process dimension focus on what activities at the organization undertakes and how they are organized, as well as how the organization ensures that it is enabling value creation for all stakeholders efficiently and effectively. A key focus of the value stream and the processes dimension uh, are processes which are activities that transform into input to input input into outputs. What can help to reduce the resistance to a planned improvement when applying the guiding principle collaborate, promote, pro, collaborate and promote visibility, increasing collaborate, collaboration and visibility for the improvement. When stakeholders, whether internal or external, have poorly visible of the workload and the progression of the work, there is a risk of creating the impression that the work is not priori priority. If, if, if an initiative is communicated to team, department, or another organization and then is never or rarely mentioned again, the perception will be that the change is not important. Equally, when staff members attempt to prioritize improve work versus other tasks that have da daily urgency, Improvement work may seem to be a low priority activities unless its importance has been made transparent and is supported by the organization's management. Which statement outcome about the outcome is correct? The allow service consumers consumers to achieve a desired result. Outcome is a result for stakeholders enabled by one or more outputs. Which approach is correct when applying the guiding principle? Keep it simple and practical. Only add controls and metrics when they are needed. Keep it simple and practical. Guiding principle states that always use the minimum number of steps to accomplish an objective. So you need only to add controls and metrics when they are needed. Which value chain activities communities the con current status of all four dimensions of service management? Plan. The purpose of the plan value chain activities is to ensure a shared, a shared understanding of the vision, current status, and the improvement direction for all four dimensions and all products and services across the organization. Which service management dimension is focused on the organization's relationship with the organization in order to deliver its services? Partner and suppliers. Partner and suppliers dimension focus on the organization's relationship with uh, other organizations that are involved in the design, development, deployment, delivery, support, and uh, or continual improvement of our services. This, is, this also incorporates a contract and other agreement between the organizations and its, its partners and suppliers. Which term related to the service level, level align, aligned? aligned with the with, uh, needs of service consumers, warranty. Warranty often related to service level aligned with needs of service consumers and it addresses areas, areas such as availability, capacity, and the continuity and security. Which guiding principle considers how the step of the process can be performed as efficient as possible, optimize and automate. Optimization means making something and something as effective and useful as it, it needs to be. Automation efficiency can be greatly increased by reducing the need for human involvement as much as possible. Which value chain activity includes the negotiation of contract and agreement with suppliers and partners engage? The outputs of engaged value chain activities include contract and agreement with external and internal suppliers and partners. 
which recommend by the guiding principle progressive iterative with feedback or improvement initiatives that is broken into a number of major, major sections. Correct answer or improved initiative, initiative that is broken into a number of major sections. As progressive iterative with feedback states that not to attempt to do every, everything at once. Even huge initiative must be accomplished iteratively by organizing work into smaller, major sections that can be executed and completed in a timely manner. For other options, options in the question, the current statement, state assessment that is carried out the start of, start of uh, an improvement initiatives, start where we are. The identification of all interested parts part at the start of the improvement initiative, collaborate and promote visibility, assessment of how all the parts of the organization will affect on, on impo improvement initiative, think and work holistically. What term um, best describe a person or a group of people that has its own function that with responsibilities, authorities, and the relationship to the achieve its objectives, organization. An organization is a person or a group of people that has its own function with responsibilities, authorities, and the relationship to achieve its objectives. Which of the following is considering service action? Service desk agent providing support to users. Service desk agent providing support to users. Service action. Service access to network storage. Access to resources. Access to mobile network. Access to resources. Purchasing of physical server goods. What describes the step needed to describe and deliver a specific sub server service? to a customer, a value system, a value stream. Value stream, a series of steps of an organization undertakes to create and deliver product and service to consumers. Which guiding principle helps ensure that each improvement effort, effort has more focus on and is easier to maintain progress iterative with feedback? Based on progressive iterative with feedback, guiding principle, organization work into smaller, manageable, major section that can be executed and completed in a timely manner. It is easy to maintain a sharper focus on each effort using feedback before, throughout, and after each iteration will ensure that actions are focused on appropriate even if circumstances change. Which statement about the value chain activities is correct? Each value chain activity is contributed to the value chain by transforming its specific into output. Each activity contributes to the value chain and transforming specific in input into outputs. Each activity may draw upon res resources, processes, skills, and competencies from one or more practices. Which step of the continual improvement model is focused on outline outlining the steps that will be undertaken by the organization in order to achieve each goals and move the organization each closer to Achieve, achieving its vision. How do we get there? How do we get there? Steps of the continual improvement the model is focused on outlining the plan of action to be undertaken to accomplish the goals set force. Where, to, where do we want to be? Step of the model. Which, section, which action per, is performed by the pro service provider? Ensuring access to agreed resources. Ensuring access to agreed resources performed by the service provider. Requesting required service actions performed by the service consumer. Authorizing budget for service consumption performed by the sponsor. Re receiving, of the, receiving of the agreed goods performed by the service consumer. Identify the missing word in the following sentences. A user is a role that uses services. Service consumer is a generic role that is used to simplify the definition and description of the structure of service relationships. In practice, there are more specific roles involved in service consumption, such as customers, users, and sponsors. These, are, these roles can be separated or combined.